So which is more dangerous? The four-man crew about to be airlifted from the uh, power line tower by helicopter or the 40 bicyclists on a busy highway on a Saturday afternoon? Take a look. Tell me what you think. Oh, oh man. Yeah, those guys are going up. Did you see it? Yeah. Well, we're in Nephi, Utah, and we're sitting at the Rolling Home RV Park. I want to show this park to you in case you ever want to come this way and stay. It's open year-round. Let me show it to you. Put the telephone number up here in case you would like to, uh, you know, make a reservation with them. It's like between $50 and $60, depending on the time of the year, uh, a night. Uh, staff here are real, real nice people. This is some of your view, if you'll see behind me. This mountain range, if I'm saying it right, is the Wasatch Mountain Range. And Mount Nebo is over here. You see the big mountain it's over there. <laughs> they have uh, back ends, which are 75 feet. And they got the pull-throughs. You can see the pull-through, how, how absolutely large they are. This pull through is 85 feet. It looks bigger than that. Uh, that's our rig right there. It's 85 feet. And man, I don't care if you got a big diesel pusher uh, pulling a big trailer, you can get in here. You can fit in here. And you can get some uh, propane too while you're at it. It's close to so much. Salt Lake City behind me is about, I guess, about 50 miles from here. There is. Uh, Quite a bit to see here. There's the Little Sahara Sand Dunes, which I made a video about the other day. And then there's uh, the Devil's Kitchen, which is up in those mountains back behind me. We went there too. 50 amp service, water and sewer. A week you can stay here for $300. We decided to stay a couple of weeks because it's just such a nice area and the weather has just been wonderful. It's starting to pick up a little bit of rain right now. But uh, if you have a pet, they're pet friendly. They've got a laundry right over here, right back over here. There are no bad views here. Whichever way you're looking, you're looking at, at some scenery, some good scenery. And back behind me over here is Interstate 15. It's the main highway in Utah. There's so many places, so many things to see in Utah. It's just unbelievable. I actually have a list here of places, potential places you might want to go to. And it's Bryce Canyon. That's down south of Utah. And then Arches, of course. Canyon Lands. I've never been there. I've been to Arches. That was years ago. And Cedar Breaks. That's a national monument. It's in Cedar City, Utah. Uh, Dinosaur National Monument. That's actually Utah and crosses over into Colorado. Glen Canyon, of course, we're going to do that. And Natural Bridges, that's a must. And last, but certainly not least, is Zion. We were there some years ago. It's an incredible place. We stayed on um, a place called... Uh, the Virgin River. It's BLM land. We stayed there for a couple of weeks, I think. Use that as your base and get off to Zion National Park. That is quite a trip to see, and we'll be, we'll be doing that too as well. And I got a nice store here. I'm not going in right now. I think they're doing inventory or something. That's the restaurant. I think they just closed it up uh, for the season. And like I say, you can see wonderful views here. Yeah, yeah, I've got horseshoe pits here that tend to fill up when it rains. Uh, <laughs> and uh, a community fire pit. Look at the place you have to, the vast amount of room you have to walk your uh, pet. Or you can get out and stretch your legs yourself. That's a pretty nice place.
I especially like the fact that there's so much distance between each RV site. Uh, you don't get that in RV parks. We've been in RV parks where virtually every time we, you couldn't even put your slide out. You certainly couldn't put your awning out. So, uh, but it's very clean. They emphasize cleanliness here. Pick up after your pets. One of the things that's an absolute must if you come here, and I suggest you do, is Mount Nebo Loop. It, uh, it's virtually incredible. Actually, I did a video on that. It's so beautiful. It's just beyond description. Words cannot describe it. It's so unbelievably beautiful. So, uh, maybe if you can't come this year, come next year. And lastly, I'd like to say something to the, our subscribers to this channel. RV in America TV is actually the actual name of it. I'd like to thank you for subscribing. You support this channel. We do this because we virtually love being able to share that which has been given to us.